Meantime, the Bay Street straw market vendors say they're outraged over several outstanding matters they want authorities to address. Straw Vendors Advancement Association President Celestine Enius told reporters this week what some of those issues are. They decided that we have to bring police record. You could imagine an 80-year-old woman being in the market when she was a child, and now they asked you to bring police record um, to re-register your stall. And I don't think I should have to pay the Bahamas government $40 to hire nobody at my shop. I'm supposed to pay national insurance, sick benefits, or whatever. The government is responsible for its citizen, and the government are responsible for its people. And so if I hire someone, I take them off the social service line. Now, Enia says she remains hopeful that dignity will be restored to vendors. Meantime, she says straw vendors are complying with paying those outstanding arrears. It's like $39 and something in cent. And we have about 500 stalls in here, so probably we have about maybe 300 that is occupied. The rest is empty. I think they're doing a tremendous job with collecting the rest. I think that we, we got that set low. We, I don't think that's a problem. I don't think that is an issue because... Um, they came in with a mandate and they gave us their position. And so we are living up to their side of the bargain. Now we spoke with the minister responsible for the straw market, the Honorable Desmond Bannister, on the concerns raised by straw vendors. And he told us that their matters have been dealt with.